Hello, my name is Beck, and welcome to a spoiler-free review for The Mask Falling by Samantha Shannon. This is her fourth book in the Bone Season series, which is a dystopian fantasy. So first of all, I'm going to talk about roughly what this is about. Considering it is a fourth book, if you haven't read up to here in the series, then I'd try and avoid watching this review because I'm going to be as spoiler-free, obviously, as possible, but it will potentially let you know where Paige is after the first book and if you don't want to have rough spoilers for the series click away now. So I'm going to talk roughly about the plot and then after that I'm going to talk about how I felt about the book and then I'm going to give you my rating. I did really enjoy this one. Okay so this is going to be hard but I'm going to try. So in this book they are in Paris and by they I mean characters from the rest of the series but also specifically Paige because she's our main character so Obviously, we're going to follow her because from her perspective, she is in Paris now. The rebellion is only growing against Scion London. So Scion London are the dystopian faction that are starting to take over countries and effectively start wars with each country. And if that doesn't work, then to murder and overthrow until they're in control. So that is who Paige is fighting against, as well as their clairvoyance in general. And we've gone from London now into Paris. Some of the storylines have started to converge and and that opens up potential new avenues for Paige in this one. So this again is different to, for example, The Song Rising and The Mime Order. There were different motivators here and Paige has really grown as a character in so much scope and that is one of the things that I really loved about this. So it's really hard to give you much more plot than that because it really has to unfurl as you read it. Obviously like any other book you should find stuff out as you're reading it. But with this one, there's so much detail and there's so much world building and there are so many deliberate moments that are in here. It really builds into this big coalescence of what happened in the plot. And I talked about this in a reading vlog as well and that's spoiler free as well. So if you wanna go and check out my reactions more fresh to reading this, cause I did get an early copy, this is an arc. You can go and check out that vlog. I think it's my third vlog in this vlog and I'll link it for convenience. But in my vlog, I pretty much lost my mind. And now we're getting more into my thoughts and feelings about how the book was put together. So in the beginning, I was a little bit iffy on it, not in the sense that I knew I wouldn't enjoy it just because it was the end of a year. And so my reading was starting to slow down, which is kind of a normal thing. You get more tired towards the end of a year. So that lent into my feelings about this a little bit because the first chunk of this was fairly slow. And I mean that in the sense that there was a lot of character building. But that said, I did love those scenes. So I loved those quieter moments between Paige and another character and I loved how they were consenting and I love how they explored a deep emotional hurt and trauma based on everything that Paige has been through so far. It was very detail oriented and it gave you such specifics that I just I ate it up but at the same time when I was reading it I also could put it down and walk away. So it got to a certain point in here that it just absolutely flipped its lid and went in a direction that I did not expect whatsoever. So this really surprised me. And then after that moment, I could not put this down. So I was thinking about this book when I had walked away from it. And when I was talking to people in my life, I was just in the back of my mind wondering what would happen next in here. So that is the sign of a really good book. If I'm being honest, something that can hook me and keep my mind in that world even when I'm doing other stuff and that's what The Mask Falling did. The timeline in here too didn't feel unbelievable which was nice. Certain things felt like I said at the beginning more drawn out than others and I think that was done on purpose so that you got more of an impact later. So I like the way that it fed into the ending but it did take its time getting its footing back into the world and I think that was also because it's been two years since we got a sequel to this series so Samantha Shannon was like I'm gonna ease you back in and show you pieces of the world and I'm glad that she did that because there are a few moments or one specific moment actually that I was a bit confused and that linked into the world building of the story so that was my only question mark moment but after reading through and reading on it became more clarified so that's not really a massive gripe it's just something that I noticed and that's more on me than on the series because I should have probably gone back and reread the others to refresh my memory because this is so deep and detailed and that is one of the things that I love about this. I love the character development, I love the emotion of the book and I love how deep it went and how it explored Paige's trauma. I love how Paige grew as a character because she really flourished but she also showed how broken she was and so there was a marked progression of her character but at the same time 
It wasn't too quick that it was unbelievable. It wasn't an immediate bounce back and it was very drawn out and very well developed. So there is no fault there that I can see whatsoever. Character development, not just of Paige, of the characters around her as well, were incredible. And the way that that plot twist smacked me in the face was my favorite thing ever. Usually I'm pretty good at predicting books and predicting plot twists and seeing stuff coming and seeing stuff in the book and going, hang on a second, that's not quite right because of these small reasons. But in this book, when that plot twist hit, Samantha Shannon, as far as I'm concerned, is a genius because the way that she did it was so ingrained and I was like, holy crap. It was incredible and I loved it. And I saw so many early reviews hyping up this book because of the plot twist. And I was like, that's probably just people getting excited and getting caught up in the hype of this. But I'm gonna add to that hype train because I absolutely felt it. And usually I'm a bit jaded when it comes to that stuff. But with this book, it absolutely just had me and I loved that. So really my only negative about this was the pace because like I said at the start, it took me a while to get into it. But I like the characterization. I like the world building. I like the plot. I love how it surprised me. Me, but because the book took me a while to get into that is the only reason that I'm giving it a four and a half stars because of that plot twist alone and because of the character's development alone I wanted to give it a five but I had to be realistic and look back at my reading experience and go okay it took me a little bit of a slow burn to get into and I could have picked it up and put it down whenever but after that moment that's when it really hooked me. So I think a four and a half stars out of five is a pretty damn good rating regardless but it Unfortunately, it just didn't quite crest into a five, but that's okay. I can't wait to go back and reread all of the books in the series by Samantha Shannon. I really enjoyed this installment. I think everyone else is going to really enjoy this installment. And when you do read it, come and let me know because I would love to know your rating as well because this book did things and you can just see how much Samantha Shannon has grown as a writer. It was incredible. So four and a half stars, loved it. Would highly recommend this series because I know that so many people have got the bone season. I know that they own it, but they probably just haven't read it because it's just been one of those books that they got because of the hype and has sat on their shelves for ages. So this is me calling you out and going, pick up that series because it is so dynamic and fast paced and it's so rich with character and well building and you are going to love it. It's a dystopian fantasy that is one of my favorites. So get onto it if you can. And I'd like to say thank you to Bloomsbury for sending me this arc for review way early so that I could read it before this year even started. So thank you to Bloomsbury. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come chat with me down in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.